Hey guys, I'm Akash Sharma. You're watching Super Football. So we are almost halfway through the I League season now, and there have been a lot of surprises, right? Uh, the biggest, in my opinion, let me start off with that, has been Ezol. I think Ezol has done brilliantly attacking football all around, and they are actually trying to win games, which is well a delight to see. Who do I think is going to win the I League this season? Uh, it has been a mystery. I thought when I did the first vlog uh, when the I League was about to start, I said Bengaluru, but now it looks like. East Bengal or Mohan Bagan are going to take it. And if I had to place my bet on something, I'd say East Bengal will take their first I-League this year. Now let's see what others have to say about it. It's pretty interesting comments. If you had asked me uh, when the I-League started uh, who I thought would win, I would have said hands down by a long mile um, Bengaluru FC. The fact that they've got such a strong team, uh, they brought in a very strong coach and they did really well in the AFC as well so I would have thought it would have been then but now time uh, shows us that um, it's now a two horse race East Bengal, Mohan Bagan um, I think it's going to be out of those two but in terms of uh, who's surprised me in terms of the I-League I, th I would have to say is Iswell FC, I think they've done really good uh, with the new manager as well I think he's done fantastically so it's either East Bengal or Mohan Bagan and I think at this stage it's a bit hard to um, decide on which one the biggest surprise of the league for me has to be Aizawad FC they have Khalid Jamil as their coach who was known for shady tactics defensive uh, tactics and time wasting of all sorts but this season they're playing fearless football, very positive football and they're carving out results. They're not just trying to get draws by having a 1-1 or a 2-2 or whatever. They're actually going for the win and right now they're third on the table which is the biggest surprise if you ask me. The Kolkata clubs right now have the advantage. It could look like either one of them is going to win. But you never know what's going to happen. It, isn't, it ain't over until the fat lady sinks. So even Bengaluru FC could come and win it. Even though it looks very very difficult on paper. One of the biggest shockers this season has been the terrible downfall of Mumbai, uh, being a Mumbai FC supporter. Uh, I don't know what is happening wrong right now, but wh whatever is happening, it's it's terrible. Um, six games lost on a row. The prize would be uh, both the Kolkata teams running on the top. Uh, I would like running for the title race and as a while being third. So Ezawal's performance has performances have been outstanding. Even in their losses, they have done quite an incredible job. And uh, and I see Ezawal has one of the title contenders. If one of the teams, uh, Mohan Bagan or East Bengal, lose one of the games, I see Ezawal has one of the title contenders. So Bengaluru has not been performing up to the mark, but then it's valid because they have ha they have their own AFC Cup and AFC Champions League com uh, commitments as well. But that can't be a reason for such an am amazing side with such an amazing bench strength uh, to perform so badly. It has to be uh, Iswal FC for for sure. So far, they have been excellently. They've been excellent, and uh, and much credit goes to their coach Khalid. I mean, then this guy it turns it over. I mean, he delivers. Kind of disappointed with Mumbai FC because uh, they have been a very tough nut to crack and it's more of a spoiled sport if, uh, to any other teams. Whenever you bring in Santosh Kashyap and uh, whichever team he coaches, the next season the uh, you don't see the team in I-League. So I wish that should not be the case uh, this time. It had happened earlier but shouldn't be the case this time and uh, who's going to win it? It has to be Mohan Bagan. Come on. Uh, I've been a, been a Mohan Bagan by birth, it, I have to say this. BFC would still make a comeback, but I I think it would be Bagan this season. It's quite surprising how BFC have placed uh, themselves in mid-table. Uh, biggest surprise is how Kali Jamel has taken all of us by surprise and how Aizwal have performed. So all credits to him and Aizwal players. And uh, as of now, how things stand, it's uh, Kingfisher East Bengal who who has a lot of chances to uh, win the win the league? Biggest disappointment maybe it's Santosh Koshap always led down Mumbai, and uh, if it's in players, I think Eugenson Lindo has not been seen anywhere. Hope he comes back. I'm I'm one of his biggest fans. It's not the time to rub off BFC so soon uh, because if there is one team which can come back very stronger considering the depth in the squad it's BFC themselves
it's been a very very badly done move not because of the fact that he's leaving but because of the fact that how things have gone about